Hey guys, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So last time we left off, we had gotten to pretty much the very end of the high wall of Lothric. We had used our raw infusion on our two weapons of choice for the early game, the Astora Straight Sword and the Mace. Uh, yes, we, and I pointed out that the Astorus has been nerfed, but it still looks cooler than the Longsword, while still having the poke R2s and poke rolling attacks. Therefore, I prefer it over the higher damaging broadsword. And it just looks cooler than the longsword still, like I said, so. So that's the gist of what we're doing here. Nothing. All right. <coughs> and yeah, these guys are kind of disappointing. You know, they don't uh, drop things very often. Uh, shoot. I wanted to farm the mimic, but oh well. I'll do that in a little bit. I'll take on Vort real quick first, and then we'll farm the Mimic afterwards. Hey, a longsword. I still can't figure out for the life of me what that noise is supposed to be. That's so a akin to the bonfire noise <coughs> that you get in Dark Souls 1 when you're about to be invaded or something. Or like it locks you out of using the bonfire. That I can't, it always kind of spooks me when I hear it. Huh, that took a lot more hits than I figured. Okay. Yeah, see that? That is strange. Why is it taking so many more hits? Usually I was able to 1, 2, L2, or R2 combo these guys to death. Huh. <coughs> okay, anyway. I don't think I've ever tried the wooden shield, really. Maybe once on my, like, my first playthrough, I think I might have. Put the stats on it. It's probably not that great, but... Hell, it's better than that. Yeah, it's better in magic, fire, and lightning than the east-west. Better in physical than the east-west. A little worse in dark, but it has very nice 53 stability. That's actually very cool. Too bad the physical is so trash on it. Otherwise, it's a very nice shield for a low character or something. The War God shield is probably the best choice 
for someone that wants something like that uh, high stability but less physical and lower weight uh, let's try this I want to see how much damage the mace does against him because he is heavy armored so we'll find out <coughs> let's see how rusty I am this could be embarrassing we'll find out or it's usually pretty damn easy but I've been known to screw things up pretty badly With all this HP, I should be fine though, because usually I, I end up with playing these bosses with like 550, 600 HP. And sometimes not even in Ember form, so it's like 450. <laughs> <coughs> Settle down, Vork. I'm coming. Oh, hello. Yikes. Okay. Oh, hello. 28. Yikes. So, yeah, he's definitely weak against... Yikes. Weak against Blunt. go okay yeah it wasn't any harder than I figured so and maybe I'm not so rusty or maybe this is just an easy boss I think it's a little of both <coughs> all right then I can't tell if that broke his guard or not. I don't think it did. He just kept falling for that over and over? <laughs> Come on, Lothric Knights. I thought you were better than that. Hey. Stop. No. Hey, were you listening? No. None of that. Shame. 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 
Whoops. Okay. Let's go back over here. Guess I can fight. Oh, come on. Really? Am I really over the weight limit with these bracelets? Yep, I sure am. Okay. How about that? Can I do that? Yes, I sure can. Okay, that looks good. Oh, come on. Really? What the? Anything? Nope. Nah, figured. Okay. These ambushes are all the same to me. I keep forgetting which ones have guys from both sides and which don't. Alright, I'm running back here to the first bonfire just because it's too much of a hassle to go the other way. Okay, there we go. Hello. Talk about oblivious. We're gonna go get the Mimic, and I think that's basically it, actually. Oh, no, wait. Shit. No way. I need to get up. <laughs> okay, I'll fight him later. Fighting him in melee is really not the way to do it, especially early in the game. Why can't you chug twice? What the heck? Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Really? Sheesh. Well, I got the crossbow. That's pretty cool. It's not a bad crossbow for the lightning effect to break through shields and stuff. Okay. Now I just want to go over there and... Actually, you know what? Hold up. You son of a... hate that he does that. Hello. There we go. Hey, hey, what the hell was that? One forty one, yes, yeah, so there's like no difference with these guys with blunt damage, strangely. That's got me curious now. What do, don't I have a piece of Lothric Knight Armor? No, I do not have a single piece of it. Wow. Okay, um... Get you... Oops, I completely forgot to... 
76. Okay, well, that's probably a counter hit, I think. Although it didn't look like it, but anyway. Who cares? Let's just get the Mimic. Alright. Wrong way. Okay, there we go. Equip. And yes, for those who didn't know, you can put a Mimic to sleep by using the hunter charms get you they drop the item that they would normally drop plus they have a chance to drop the undead uh, the uh, symbol of avarice anyway I think that's the last thing to do here that's all the only thing we have had left to do in all of the high wall I'm not sure if there's much of anything else <coughs> left for us to do here. I was going to say we should just do some of the PvP now because I want to get the uh, Pale Tongue. But I might just go to the settlement, at, at, at least go to the settlement and get uh, the, the last uh, Estus Shard. I think it's just one more, but there might even be two more in that re in that region. Uh, I'm trying to think of what to do now. I got a fair amount of souls here. There's still nothing she's got that I really want. Uh, I mean, I don't really want to reinforce my weapons yet because I believe that... Let's see. Matchmaking. Okay, let's see. There's highest upgrade, okay. Yeah, okay, so... Wait, what? What the... Huh? If a player has a weapon at plus 10, they can be matched with a player that has plus 7 or more. If a player has no upgrades, they can be paired with a player that has, with up to plus 2. That doesn't make any sense. That completely contradicts this. Host, highest upgrade plus zero. Guest, highest upgrade plus one. Does that mean if I invade with a plus one, that I can still get a host with a plus zero? Is that how that works? I mean, I guess. Dark Spirit Invasion. <laughs> SL times 0.1. Oh, SL. Okay, yep. Yeah, okay, there it is. Let's see. Okay, soul level 20 we are. Where? Dark spirit right there. Okay, soul level minus soul level times 0 0.1. Okay, times 0 0.1 is 2. So 20 minus 2 is 18. So we can go all the way down to 18. And then 20 plus 20 plus Two. So we can go between 20 and 42. Okay, that's not too bad. And I guess according to this, with a plus one, we can only hit someone that's got a, a plus zero upgraded weapon? I guess? This, this, this is kind of difficult stuff to figure out sometimes. Uh, let, me, let me check one more thing.
See that, that that's what that's what I've usually heard is plus or minus two upgrade levels. So it's tough. It's a tough decision really. Let's see, let me see what reinforcing that raw a stores will give me in, in terms of damage. 153. One thirty six with the long sword, one forty two with the broadsword. One sixty three it would be in that case. Well, it's not, it's not really going to change much in this situation here, from what I'm seeing. Let's do it. Let's just raise it to plus one there. That'll, that'll be all right. <coughs> We've also got, oh yeah, we also have the, uh, the deep battle axe too. Um, that's not really something I care for too much. We're level 20. <clears throat> I don't want to raise my level too much higher, but... Let's see, what do we got in terms of stamina? That might help us to have that higher stamina. Although I kind of doubt it. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's go on a little bit further here. Tavort of the Boreal Valley. I apologize for the bit of a break there, guys. Um, and head to the Undead Settlement. Hey, Drake Blood Armor's in this game. That's cool. I suppose I could always... Yeah, that's just pointless farming, though. Let's just hurry up and do this. I was going to get some more souls and then try to use that to get the uh, tower open, but... Yeah. The Estus Ring is basically the only thing I really care about in the tower there. The, the armor is not that great. Cathedral. There's the Abyss Watcher's boss room there. And there's a huge ass something over there too. I didn't. I just missed. That must be that big castle that I was thinking about. I wonder if you can still see it from over here. Yeah, you kind of can. Yeah, there it is, right there. I see it. Right over there. Super cool. So we got... Yeah, that's it right there, isn't it? Yep, that's it. This is the... The Farron woods and stuff. And the swamp is like right below us here. Yeah, and like right there. You can see the little wall path there. And then that building is where the Abyss Watcher's boss fight is. And then way over there somehow, I'm not sure how you get there exactly, maybe another banner like this, is a huge castle over there. Huh. And then way off that way, I bet you, is the cathedral. 
Real huge place, actually. Very cool. Alright, let's get going. Dogs over here, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Luring skulls. <laughs> Please grant me death. Undo my shackles. Champion of Ash, as I live and breathe. Come over here, To dude. be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol right of here. Londor, a pilgrim, as you can see, only... Fine. Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. Say, Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Daga Kotuwaru. Nah. I, I, that's gonna be like my new catchphrase every time they ask me for this yes no decision. Oh, <laughs> I am honored. Is that a Truly. fucking JoJo reference? I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor. Do solemnly swear myself to you. <coughs> okay. Now we got Yol. And we are off. Oh, hey, one of them survived. one really all right kind of strange. These guys are killing each other over there, but I don't get any of the souls. Usually you do, right? I mean, usually when enemies, you know, knock each other off cliffs or something, you get the souls from it. That was close. Okay. Small leather shield. Isn't that the one with the better parry frames? One of them, anyway? I think it's the only one besides the... Target and Buckler that has the better shields. Designed for parrying attacks, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that definitely... Like, this is a small shield too, right? Yep, definitely. That definitely has the better parry frames. Okie dokie. Good to know. I'm no parry king though, so <laughs> not going to be of all that much use for me. Charcoal pine resin, or is that a bundle? Bundle, yep, yeah, okay.
Thrall Hood, my favorite item in the game. So I can look spoopy and then patches squat on people's corpses. Boogie boogie. Seriously, I don't know why people love that thing so much. <laughs> uh, okay, nothing important here. did. <laughs> I love doing that. We got any throwing knives, actually? Yeah, I got plenty of them, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. I want to see if it's actually possible to aggro all these guys without aggroing her. Oh, come on. Apparently it is. Huh. Uh-oh. Well, I don't know if I would even consider that one part of the group, honestly. Fight fire? Alright. How's that feel? Huh. That combustion really got her. Oh, hello. Huh. That was some loan there. Ooh, geez. Alright, got another Estus Shard. I can't for life of me remember if there's another one in this place. I think there is. I think there's one, like, after you go where Zigward is and stuff. Let's kill this off. That one used to give me a lot of trouble for some reason. Not sure why exactly. Anything else in here? I don't think so. <coughs> Another Caduceus round shield, really? Deserve that one. Hey! Cut that the hell out. You know what? Go screw yourselves.
Where is the... Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Um, shoot. I want to open up the... Okay, let's do this real quick. I got one thing I want to do first before I go over that way. I think I'm equipped enough to handle it, but we'll find out. Oh, you don't even have to climb a ladder to get up here. Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Plank shield. Cute. Another Nana disappeared. So grand and carry the cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. Another Nana disappeared. So Grant and carry the cage. He ever has his cage. And Nana's never coming back. So come into the cage and become Nana's shade. Huh. It's always like so bizarre whenever I hear that. It's referring to the guy that we're gonna see here in a minute, but Still, I don't I don't understand why FromSoft got the idea that that would give us a clue about anything, really. I guess the cage talk, I get about go, going to the cage, but that that most people seem to just throw it off as gibberish. Anyway, here's hoping I don't end up Knocking this off, I always do. No! Damn you. Well, anyway, there's a ring down there. From what I can tell, this is basically supposed to be the equivalent of, uh, the sack bros getting you in Bloodborne and taking you a Yar Har Har Ghoul. But, I mean, it is a bit different, so. It does seem like a, a very similar mechanic, though. Okay. Let's go... Tell our buddy that we're a hollow posing as otherwise. So we can join the mound mound builders. Excuse me. Oh, and the war god shield, yeah. 84 physical, but it has 57 stability and higher elementals too. Honestly, I think I What's the weight on it though? Four. Yeah, see it's even lighter weight. Honestly, I prefer this. Yeah, yes, you lose a little from the physical attacks, but. Holy hell, does that give you a lot of stability. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you sane folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? Oh, yes, yes, then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead? Well, all the more so. Beware, the shackles of the gods are fragile. 
You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for hot you. <laughs> I can never tell if he's actually being sarcastic or not. Like, does he does he actually think that is he actually crazy? And he actually does just pile up victims and belong to this covenant? Or does he really think that we have better things to do? I don't know. Didn't we have... A, I could have swore I got a vertebra shackle from something. Guess not. Hmm. Let's try this one. I'll leave that. The Mound Maker's active. Okay, uh, yeah, there's no way else to get out of here. Um, other than using the bone, so let's do that. <coughs> oh, and I forgot to go back and get that last Estus shard activated. Let me check one thing real quick. In the undead settlement, is there another shard? Let's check the wiki here. Shard. Where are you? Undead bone shard. One Estus shard. Okay, so it's just one Estus shard. Yep. Drop down to the right. Pittsburgh Hollows. Corpse with a... Tight night shard, okay. Tight night shard, tight night shard, tight night shard. There it is, undead bone shard, okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that's where the uh, uh, giant is that flings things, okay. Um, let's see. Where's the next Estus Shard? Undead Settlement. Road of Sacrifices. Okay, I don't want to spoil any of the f locations that I haven't reached yet, so I bump out of there. But I just wanted to check to see if there's any other Estus Shards here, because I want to do early level PvP. And I want to have as much Estus as possible, because of how they screw invaders over with the half and half Estus and such. Alright. Oh, wait. Forgot about this guy. There he is. I knew there was another one around here somewhere. There we go. <coughs> okay. Oh, I for these guys are still here, really? Oh, screw it. Hello. This is a little bit more than I can handle here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, there we go. We're thinning him out good now. Just R1 mash and hope for the best. Alright. Anything? No? Well, I sure as hell piled up some victims, didn't I? <laughs> I think the mound makers will be proud of me. Got my ember. Oh, I completely forgot about that over there. I wonder if the, uh... Oh, child, come to me. That she does with the fire grab. Would actually set off these barrels. Because it is a flaming attack, right? You know? Ooh. Rubbish. Just what we needed. I think that qualifies as pumper rum though for the crow. So there's that. Is there anything else down here we need to get? Nope, okay. Okie dokie. Let's go down here real quick. Watch out for these. Oh yeah, we got this guy, okay. Huh, I'm surprised he survived that. here oh and I forgot to cut down Loretta from the oops hello I could think I slashed her or else I might have got caught by this guy uh is this the only one hanging yep looks like it okay warriors of sunlight S to soup heal me up Guess I'll go backwards here a little bit, <coughs> so I can get the. Uh, well, I do. I, I want to trigger the uh, phantom that comes up here around here too. Actually, if I remember right. Yep, she's attacking me already. <laughs> Yikes! That bleed. <laughs> Stop that. Top it. Top it, Tupac. God damn it. Okay. We're doing fairly good here. There's another shard. Can't be serious now. Move, woman. <laughs> Go away. Jesus. She 
Yeesh. I don't have any Estus left. This damn buffoon's gonna be invading me here. Ugh. Let me hurry up and get this. Where's the ladder at? Where'd it go? Is it this way? Huh? Oh no, it's over here, right? Yeah, right there. I always miss this thing. Sorry guys, I'm getting lost here. <laughs> okay, got our shard. I better not, I better use the ladder because I don't have any Estus to heal any kind of HP loss I end up getting from this. I should have just used a chime weapon art. Okay, we've been here. So, I, yeah, we've been there. So, I think we got pretty much everything. Is it, Did we get the... What's this? Treasure ahead? Yep, this is it. Yeah, right here. Yep. Did I get it? No, I didn't. Okay. I knew there was another one around here somewhere. Okay. Now we're going to have to fight Hodrick. <coughs> I don't know. It's going to be... Oh, hey, we... Got Nestus back? Somehow? How did that work again? <laughs> Let's get uh, some bundles there that we can use. And why not? Let's use a green blossom. <coughs> hear that crystal lizard but I'm gonna end up running into freaking Hodrick before I can do it yep there he is oh shit no you don't buddy You son of a... What? I hate when the freaking NPCs parry. God damn it. So bitch. I hate this game. I hate this game. He's healing himself! You... Okay, good. At least I tricked the idiot to going away. Fuck Dark Souls. Shit, I almost had the asshole if it wasn't for this damn sucker. Oh, you can't be serious. There. Too hard. GG no re. Didn't he drop anything? Just a vertebra shackle. Well, I thought he dropped... Oh no, the shield is from doing it. No. Did I... Is he supposed to drop something? I heard... Somebody told me that he dropped a shield. Huh. I guess not. Yeah, because I specifically remember, I was going to say maybe that was someone else, but I could have sworn that somebody told me that he dropped a shield. Oh, yeah, good, good. You get, it actually treats you like if you had a real phantom fighting you, you get more Estus when you kill it. Ooh. Goody. Sharp gem. Perfect. Okay, uh... Yeah, the only way to get that is to jump, I think, so. I might as well just hurry up and light this real quick, though. Aphrodite QQ. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, then.
this is not it then. Where am I looking for? There's... I need to find the place where you jump to the... Shit. Go away. I don't want to deal with you people. Is this it? Nope. Totally not it. Oh my god. There. Got the element of surprise on him. Is this really not it? Yeah, it can't be it. You gotta be up there somehow. Oh yeah, right here. There it is. Ah, you son of a bitch. It won't let you double chug for some reason. It's weird. I'm, I'm OCD about getting every item, so there's like nothing I can do about this. There we go. Oh, and rusted coin, so that'll actually be pretty useful to us. Perfect. Alright, let's... Just for appearance's sake, rest real quick. Okay. Let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, come on! No, 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 no! You cannot be freaking serious right now. There! Finally double chugged. Woo! Yeesh! Are you... Are you serious, bro? Get out of the way! <laughs> This Estus really is super weak, so it's we really do need a bone shard. It's not gonna be with a health bar this large. Our our Estus is not on par yet. Normally it wouldn't be so much of a problem at this point, but with this much HP, because we're diverting all of our points to it, it is. <coughs> so we want to be able to heal optimally for our PvP endeavors that will begin pretty soon. We got the bone shard, right, don't we? Ashes. 
Um, wait, what? Yep, there it is. Bone shard. Okay, we're doing good. here. Just go this way. Go up here. All right, we're doing good. Oh dear, gotta worry about this guy now. That was not beef, by the way, if you guys are wondering what kind of meat that was. I assure you. Hey, hey, hey! None of that. Fire clutch ring, we're gonna need that. Shit, shit, shit. Fire, 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 fire. Okay. Now, which way was it? Yep, right there. Okay. Hey. Whoa. That was a little bit rougher than I thought it'd be. That almost caught me. Good thing we're near our bonfire. Okay, this is getting kind of long. Didn't get a whole lot done, really, but... <clears throat> oh, and that's right, Vort's, uh, the ring, uh, Pontiff's left eye, we can get. Um, I doubt that's gonna be of much use to us, though, in PvP, really. And we're definitely not gonna have enough strength for Vort's hammer, so... We want to rescue Cornix, though, that's the important thing. That's what I'm racking up all these souls for, is to buy a bunch of pyromancy. Oh dear. Okay. And hex. All kinds of pyromancy gear in this place. Aha. Unkindled. The account. shield, the axe. Welcome to my abode. I am Cornix, an old pyromancer. A crow in his cage, as you see now. But here we are. An encounter for the ages. <laughs> I hear the unkindled make for fine vessels. You've been dabbling in pyromancies, it seems. Well then... Care to learn some pyromancies from this old man? Not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Daga ah, Okay, I said most it. Wise. I had to say it. A chance encounter should not be squandered. To read Indeed. I am Cornix of the Great Swamp. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Really sucks that we're never going to be able to see any of these places. The Great Swamp, Vinheim. Not in Dark Souls 3 to my knowledge, and I've never heard anyone talk about them. I, admittedly, I don't know much about the game since I haven't beat it, but... Hell. Okay, we got him rescued. Uh, yeah, we want to go onto here, right? That's where we need to go. Revenge ahead? <laughs> You gotta roll off somewhere, was it? There, there's an item that, I, when you were on the wiki earlier, said something about rolling off somewhere. This is the, yeah, that's the bonfire right here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it was probably showing you how to get to the bone shard, I guess. Well, anyway, let's go back to wrong way. Go back to Firelink and see what pyromancies we can learn. And then I'll probably end this video. <coughs> I was wanting to do some PvP real early on, but I'm trying to even out the odds with so much against you as an invader by get, you know, that's why I'm doing things like getting optimal HP using raw weapons instead so you can get roughly the same damage without having to raise your strength index and stuff uh, some pyromancies that can modify my skills to help me out etc etc okay let's talk to him Let's unequip this just in case it matters. I don't know if it'll give you another glove. I'd like to get another Father, one. There you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. <laughs> hmm. I guess not. He doesn't give you one. How do you get another one then? I'm, I'm sure you can get a second glove. We got fireball, fire surge, great combustion, and flash wit. That's not very much to start with, I guess. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such <coughs> is the way of the world. Fire surge can be real useful, Respect though. Your I suppose. And, so on. and pyromancy, of course is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy <coughs> tone to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. If this were the great swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such an... <laughs> okay. Hmm. <coughs> so we can raise our pyromancy flame to plus one, obviously, since we already raised our uh, stores. So it's not going to make much difference in our damage, really, but might as well. So we already got fireball and no reason to buy another one because you don't That's the one thing I miss is that you could buy multiple uh, I, I think the Dark Souls 1 system of spells was so much better where you just had you a limited amount of cast per Edition of a spell you equipped per attunement slot, right? So if you bought two copies of fireball you could cast it 10 times or eight whatever eight times per cast and 16 if you bought use two of them, right? You know but this it makes it completely redundant. It means there's no reason for me to buy that. Fire surge, only a thousand. Huh. Great combustion. I guess we can buy flash sweat. Not a lot of reason for it, but eh, okay. Oh, we'll need a if. I wonder if he'll. Let me, let me buy them. See what happens. What he does if we buy all his stuff. Nope. Okay. Well, it was a waste of thousand souls. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, I de-equipped those. I need to stick some stuff in my uh. I didn't upgrade the mace yet. I need to stick some things in my box equip uh. Storage box. All right, mace. There we go. <coughs> Perfect. One seventy-eight. Two oh one two.
Hmm. Pretty be careful. Like that. Well, nothing else really to do at this point. There is the fire clutch ring. I wonder what difference that really makes. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oops. 135. I hate doing this, by the way. Just, just for those who think I'm some evil guy for hurting their wife who I don't like doing this. It's the easiest way to test stuff, though. Okay, swap that for the fire clutch ring. What does that do to my absorptions, anyway? Yeah, that really does lower them. I hate that. What was... I completely lost track of what the damage was. 180. Okay, let's do the other one again real quick. One fifty-seven. Okay, so I mean that's a decent increase. It's not bad. Like, let's see. Let's see what happens if we take the swamp ring off. From one fifty-seven down to what will we get? One thirty, right? So forty fifty. So it's twenty-seven, and then going from one fifty-seven to one eighty is twenty-three. Yeah, so it's almost the same thing. You're getting basically the same amount as the... Swamp Ring with the uh, Fire Clutch. Unfortunately, I don't really see... Okay, let's burn the Undead Bone Shard for sure. <coughs> I don't really see that being all that useful. Let's see Fire Surge. Let's take a look at that. Is this a... Yes, it is. It's a Weapon Art Shield. Okay. What? There it goes. Okay. Forty-two. Okay. Get the ring. 48. Yeah, really not that much. Hmm. Great combustion could be useful. I'm not sure exactly how useful, really. I think we'd want the... If we're going to be using Pyromancy Zell, maybe we should just get the Sage's Ring, which I think is in the Crucifixion Woods. It's not that far, frankly. So if we do... I think that that's going to be our strategy, I think. Get to the Crucifixion Woods. Get one more uh, Estus Shard, which right now we've got enough Estus for six if we, if we dump it all into... Well, I don't know. We would It wouldn't give us a whole lot of... Uh, Pyromancy use because we wouldn't have any. Let me use this real quick. We got six one or seven zero. If we got one more shard, it would give us eight zero. So with as a part as a uh, phantom, that would give us four estus. I wonder if seven would still give us four estus or not because it would round it up maybe. If that's the case, I that'd be definitely worth it because we could keep that setup of four regular estus. Or it actually, wait. Because it cuts it in half. I, I don't think they can cut one in half, though, so. But anyway, that's, it's, I'm debating between Great Combustion or uh, Fire Surge. But we'll figure that out later. It's been going for quite a while here in this video. So we definitely want to stop here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the fun's getting, just getting started. We're going to have some PvP invasions, some general fun, and get this build cracking in the next couple videos. Um, I might do a video or two without commentary later on. I'm not sure. So, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.